Alright you guys, thanks for tuning back in to the Big Rubber Ranch YouTube channel. We're going to show you all the Smarty SO3 tuner chip that is on this truck. We couldn't really find anything on YouTube good for uh, trying to like, you know, check them out. So we had to play with it ourselves and practice that before we made the video. So now we know what to expect and, you know, what to tell you guys about. Uh, it definitely does help this truck and we'll show the differences in this video. You can see going in right here, we're in fifth. 1600 RPMs, it ain't no speed demon. You know, I mean, by no means is that fast. You know, went up to 70. Well, actually, the speed on is off 70 on this is 80. The way the uh, speed reads on here. Don't really blow any smoke on this tune. Car in front of us, and we can't get too much right now. We're on eight out of the nine already has on this chip so uh, we're gonna go over them today give you guys a good video because we couldn't find one and hope you guys enjoy it hope, it, hope it's informational because we were stuck trying to figure it out ourselves smarty so3 catcher software dodge 24 valve 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel 1998 and a half to 2002. I guess they're mads about something. All right, let's go over this while we're here to eat. Do this now instead of when we get to where we're going to test with. There's, you know, tells you an instruction manual. Here tells you about the warranty and everything. Don't worry about either one of them at the moment. This goes over a list of all your power settings, I'm sure. If you got the Smarty SO3, you already know all these. All right, you put it up to zero, your Smarty tuner. It's gonna be half power. One's gonna be fuel saver. Two is gonna be only more fuel and boost fooling. And then from there, it's pretty much more power, stock timing, or you can go more power with added timing. It just kind of goes up, you know. Pretty simple. You know, you want more power, you want it with stock timing or more timing. So. Let's go check this out. All right, now we're ready to make a video. Alright, Smarty, SO3 programmer. Let's cut to the chase of this stuff. There's the box, as you know, of course. Screws in right up top. Now it's going to ask, do you want to read your codes on your engine, just like a code scanner? Of course, we don't want to do that. We're going to go here to the ECM slash ABS update. Uh, oh, I hit seven, not one. It's hit one. Then ABS update, that is for your uh, speedometer gauge. And of course, for some reason, it only wants you to go down to a uh, 22 and a half inch tire size. I don't know why, because I tried to change it to 17, like what this truck is, and it jacked it all up. So then I just took it back to you know nothing i guess what you'd call it on here and it put it back off so it's still a little bit off so i i can't get into that much but i'm more worried about power anyways i don't know about you guys all right so we went to one let's go back one ecm update you're gonna update the tune 
you got two adjust options. There you can put a speed limiter on it, a torque. What you can actually do here on your paper, it's going to show you. Where is it at here? Wrong paper. Now here's the right paper. So like for your torque, you go on to torque here, you can go as low as one, which is stock, and as high as six. So all you'd have to do is come on to here, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, obviously. Like say if you wanna go max, click over, you know. Well, actually, so now we're gonna put it back here to one because we just want stock. We ain't trying to tune that. You know, you come here to injection timing. You can go from one all the way up to four, but of course I don't have any of that played. I ain't played with any of that. I really couldn't tell much of a difference from if you're just putting it on a tune off this paper. And you go down to injection duration. You can go as little as one stock and five for high. And that's right here. So it's, you know, then to save your memory, we didn't change nothing. Now let's get to the fun part of playing with tunes. Connect truck. Present, SW8, Smarty something 8, I assume. We're on 8, which is catcher with stock timing. All right, so we're on 8, the catcher software. You can Google it here. The catcher software is a unique animal. It improves throttle response of the engine, spools up the turbo sooner on average of 200 RPMs sooner. Because I had no clue what catcher means. So we're on catcher stock timing, and it, you can tell the difference, definitely. So now, we'll say we can go up to nine and do added timing, just like eight, but added timing. We're gonna start down here with zero, half power. So we're gonna come down here. We're on eight, present. So let's hit this arrow over. Let's go to one. See, we can put it back to stock, but we want to do a catcher on the Smarty. So we're gonna go to one, then choose a number key. We want zero for half power. Checking data, please wait. Now it's programming. We'll be back right back with you guys once it gets done programming. When you get here to 100%, it is not unusual to hear your fuel pump kick in any minute now. You should actually see your wait to start light flashing as well. We haven't heard the fuel pump kick on yet, but you should hear. There it goes. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. And then after that, your wait to start light will quit flashing. And our update is done. Unplug Smarty, turn key off. All right, let's go on to the next tune. They say too, you wanna to keep your key off for about 30 seconds. I guess that was 30 seconds, it was close enough. See, we were on zero. Now, let's press over. Catch your software. We're gonna go to one, which is fuel saver. One. All right, and we wait again. Same process again, wait 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys fuel saver because you know we can't know miles per gallon in a quick mile trip up the road, but it says right here, please notice that the timing in this software is rather aggressive, so. We're going to find out for ourselves if it's aggressive or 
on it. Let's try it again. Next one here, we're going to go to two, which is only more fuel and boost fulling. I can imagine that's supposed to make it smoke. What we're about to find out here. Which one is that? Number two, two, and we wait. two we're gonna go to three which is like number two only added timing yeah so this is number three boost falling more fuel with uh, added timing
have the timing as far as all right you can see we were on three like we just showed you guys it pretty much tells you right here once you go through the settings number three you know it tells you individually up to number three and after that from four to nine is basically the same thing just more power all right so we ain't gonna spend time going through each individual one here it pretty much tells you right here the power gain in all of these are the same it's 60 to 65 horsepower roughly is what they estimate so what we're gonna do is go in here basically just you know the higher the number is the snappier and quicker you're gonna get that power with the throttle response so i mean ultimately you're just kind of how snappy do you want the truck you're getting the same power so we're going to go from five here we're going to say so it's doing the stop time stock timing we all kind of more going for power or smoke when we put on a tuner so we're going to go with the added timing five and nine go from you know the least snappiest to the most snappiest see how it performs let's click on here let's go to five and we wait for like the 50th time Give it a second here, we ain't actually waiting on 30 seconds. It may matter, but I doubt it. Give it like, according to the GoPro, 15 seconds. So now this should be 60 to 65 more horsepower, just how quick does it get us there? For our final one we're going to test with is going to be nine. See what kind of difference it does. Really, I don't think the five feels much more of anything past like two or three. Uh, but of course, like I say, this truck ain't built to race either. I'll let it program and try that final tune there and tell you what I think about the tuner. And for setting number
So like I said, professional driver, close course and all that stuff. Close <laughs> course and all that stuff. I'm no, uh, or well, my twin brother that was driving me personally. I'm not the uh, speed shifter or nothing kind of guy. So if one of y'all might contest in tune with this thing a little better, my review on it, you can pretty much say pretty much, like I say, zero through three are pretty much all, I mean, of course, half power. It's half power. The, all these tunes through here, I don't notice a big difference in them as far as how fast you get there. Uh, if you got a good cruising truck or you're just wanting to haul some trailers, something simple, you want a good tuner, I think this is for you. If you're trying, if you're like me and you want to blow smoke and you're trying to molest the tires off by cranking up your tuner and spinning them and blowing smoke, I don't think this is the tuner for you. But it is probably definitely a good tuner for somebody if you got a nice truck, you don't want it destroyed. This is probably your tuner. I appreciate all you guys watching. Here's the tuner, Smarty SO3. If you think it's what you need, go pick one up and tell me what y'all would like to see on this truck because I'm wanting to get one to switch on the fly, you know, roll smoke, add, you know, a good chunk more power, get like 100 horsepower rather than 60. So any recommendations, comment down below. I appreciate you guys watching.